Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. But I'll do a little work outfit of the day. I'm just wearing this shirt that's actually really fall colored. I am so excited for fall, but um, it's just from Target. It's just like a little plain um, scoop neck t-shirt. And then I'm wearing these Princess Polly wide leg jeans. And then these little slides are from Target. Well, I attempted to have coffee at home this morning because Chad made me this Manatee coffee, which this is the best coffee ever if you have a Costco membership so good except our grinder like stopped working in the middle of him trying to grind up the beans so as you can see they're not really ground up that well so hopefully my coffee is okay we're gonna try it I stayed up super late last night reading a new book that Nola let me borrow. Nola is one of Callie's moms and she's like a huge reader. She's been really into all of the Colleen Hoover books like everyone has right now. Um, so I end up letting her borrow one of my books a while back. She let me borrow Beautiful Disaster and then another one, not by Colleen Hoover, but just another really good book. So I've been reading Beautiful Disaster and I am so hooked, but I'm also so angry at the part that I'm at right now. I'm just like, what is going on? I stayed up reading it until after midnight last night. So even though I'm like annoyed with the main character, I'm like, I can't not read it because I have to know what happens. So proud of myself for making my own coffee and not going to Starbucks this morning. I was really bad last week and I went more than I should have. But this week is actually my first full-time week at work. I accepted a full-time position last week and I don't know what this means for me, honestly. So if you're wondering, I don't know. I'm really, really excited though because I love this job. It's really, really good for me and my mental health to have something else to focus on right now um, that's not social media and YouTube and all of that. And even though I still love it and enjoy it, and obviously I'm vlogging this week, I just, like I said in previous vlogs, I just really wanted to get back to making it a hobby and not my primary source of income so that it becomes fun again and not stressful. already 10 50 as soon as i got here we had a meeting we always have a meeting on monday morning then i got back and i was just on a meeting with les until two minutes ago and it's 10 50 and now i have another meeting at 11 so coffee is needed but it's kind of exciting i'm learning a lot of stuff about how they like track trends and stuff within marketing and i also just found out that my role now is marketing manager and not just social media manager i knew that they were expanding my role but i didn't know that like my title was changing so i'm kind of excited so Melissa, the marketing manager. take a second and show you guys the primary brand that I work with and it's called Nurture Bed. It's a pet bed company. So a lot of the stuff that you guys see like on the website, um, like in terms of graphics and photos and just all kinds of stuff has actually come from me, which is so exciting to watch this all come to life and use like my experience having my own business to do all of this. But these beds are really, really amazing. So if you have a dog that has anxiety or even just an older dog or just you want a new bed that's actually like cute, I'm obsessed with them. And it's pretty cool to be behind the scenes of such a huge brand. I've been learning so much from this whole process. And like the pet brand industry is kind of new to me to be like working under. So I really, really like it, but I do have a discount code, but obviously this isn't sponsored. This is literally the company I work with. So go check out their social media. Go follow the Nurture Bed on Instagram. Give my social media management some feedback and engagement and of course since i'm the one who's in charge of influencer campaigns and like affiliate marketing and all of that i had to make myself a code so you guys should use my discount code i'll put it on screen if you guys want to save a little bit of extra money plus the beds right now the sale is going away very soon so you should shop now because the beds are still 50 percent off for the summer sale plus you'll be able to get an additional discount with my code and free shipping i ordered this dual monitor desk mount for my computer monitors here at work and now I have to put it together. I'm a little confused, honestly. It looks like a lot more parts than I was expecting, but we're about to figure it out because this is my current monitor stand right here for this side. It's much later now and I am finally home from work. 
what a day today was a day I'm just tired. I feel like I need a glass of wine like immediately. The first thing I do when I get home from work is change into my comfy clothes and take my jewelry off and just get cozy like it's bedtime, even though it's really only like 6 p.m. I think we're doing leftovers for dinner tonight, so this is gonna be my little snack. Here's a little update on how my plants are doing. If you guys remember, this is the one that I had brought into the office at work when I first started my job in the office and I had to take it home like a week or so ago because it was just not doing well. And I feel like I'm slowly bringing it back to life. It looks a lot better now. And then here's my little Swiss plant that my sister propagated for me and it only had like one little leaf on it. Doing a lot better now. And then up here on this little shelf is my little pothos that I propagated from my one outside. Now this has been in here for a few weeks now, but wow, when I first put it in here, it was like barely above this glass. And now look at it, it's grown so much. It has a great root system. So I'm probably gonna repot this one and try and take it to work, I think, because I feel like this one is gonna have better luck at work. Like pothos are just easier plants. As long as it gets sunlight, it'll be good. Good morning, guys. This is a really terrible angle that I have the camera sitting at right now. I'm doing my makeup. I am out of like literally all my makeup. <laughs> at once i don't know how that happened i haven't bought makeup in a while though and i really feel like i just ran out of everything at once barely getting by with my makeup i'm using like stuff i don't normally use like this eyeliner that was pr and then i have this random setting powder that i'm using that's not what i normally use but like, i can't find my tripod that's another thing haven't been able to find this week okay i'm just placing an order now because if i don't i'm gonna forget again and then i'm gonna continue to be out of everything if anyone cares these are my most frequently used makeup products the only person to blame for my franticness in the morning is me, but yet every morning, I'm like, why does this always happen? Why am I like rushing out the door? Because I don't give myself enough time. I would love to know why my hair is just so tangly right now. Like I conditioned it the same way I always do. It's like really naughty. It tells me not to brush my hair when it's wet. I have to brush my hair when it's wet, otherwise it will. I know it's like not good for your hair, but if I don't, my hair will end up extremely frizzy, more than it already will be frizzy, which you will see when it air dries. But oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys that at my orthodontist appointment, I found out that I now am doing my next like six trays for 10 days instead of 14. So we're moving a little bit faster. And then the next time I go in there, which would be like early October, I'm probably gonna have the attachments put on. I thought I was having them put on this last time, but there's a little bit more movement that needs to be done. And that's kind of like the final step is the attachments. I don't know why they put so much cream in this, but I just got a solo shot of espresso though it's supposed to just have a splash of cream. It's kind of a lot of cream, it looks like a latte, but whatever, we're gonna down this. And this is my disaster of a closet that I'm trying to separate from my own closet with just my work stuff. And I initially did have this done by color, but then when I started pulling everything from my closet in the bedroom, I just made it a disaster. But yeah, I thought it would be easier for me to get dressed in the morning if I like separate everything out that's just for work. I have like all my pants over here and like different types hung up accordingly. I have like 15 different types of hangers, but you know, at least I just go to one place to get all my stuff for work. Trooper, you look so freaking comfy in your three beds. And you guys, he literally likes it like this. Like he wants it to be super puffy, like princess in the pea. So we have one of his old beds, another old bed, and then the nurture bed on top. And he just looks so comfy. Are you comfy? Blink if you're comfy. We are having cheese raviolis for dinner. Looks amazing. And some yummy meat sauce that Chad made. And freshly grated parmesan cheese. kinds of website stuff today so just kind of optimizing the website making it look better redoing some of the copy 
changing out images and i already got through a lot of that and it's 11 30 now also this is my go-to drink lately it's like three bucks it's just adobio espresso it's so good really minimum sugar obviously it's like strong so you gotta be willing to like take the espresso but it wakes you up and you don't have to like drink a whole coffee it's one o'clock now i'm about to eat some pizza for lunch because they ordered some pizza for the office and i'm charging my airpods daily reminder to stay hydrated and go drink some water and work out too i've been doing that though it's way later now though i've been home i'm actually working on some stuff personal stuff on my computer actually some editing and emails and all of that i feel like i've just put all of it on the back burner because of starting this new job and i love it i love focusing on this stuff that's not about me but at the same time i do feel like i need to not completely neglect everything on my own side with my own personal branding and business and everything else. But can we just take a second to appreciate this new bag that I just got in this week, you guys? I haven't got a new purse for myself in forever, and this bag is just so me. The neutral cream color, gold accents, the leather. I mean, I'm just obsessed with it. It's from Teddy Blake. They sent me a handbag a long time ago, like years ago, before I even had an audience really on YouTube. And they reached out and wanted to send me a bag and I was so excited because I really do love their bags. They're such good quality. Right on par with all the luxury handbags except the price tag is actually affordable. The clasps on here are also really unique. Just look at how this thing opens up. And the crossbody strap is detachable so if you just want to use it with a shorter handle you can. It's honestly the perfect size. It fits everything I need in it. And if you guys want to check out their bags I will leave this exact one in the description. It's called the Kim Stampacho. Probably saying that wrong um, in the cream color but it comes in a bunch of other colors. Ending my night with Beautiful Disaster. You guys, this book is so good. It started off kind of slow and I hated the main character at first because she was really annoying. If you've read this book, then you would understand. But it has gotten so much better and now I'm like addicted to the plot. So I'm actually almost finished. This might be the quickest that I've ever read a book. 